For the upcoming fiscal year, the Department of Public Health and Social Services is asking for a little over $145 million. The $145 million budget is broken down between all six of public health's other divisions. DPHSS Director Art St. Augustine explained before senators the reason for more funding. Consequently, our budget request for additional funding is supported as a result of fewer jobs, less disposable income, and the need for medical and dental care from DPHSS services that are free. Over $112 million, or 78% of public health's budget, goes into public welfare programs to help residents that need support the most. Director St. Augustine continued that funding to meet the COVID-19 response is also included in the 2023 budget request. However, the biggest concern posed by the Chairman of General Government Operations, Appropriations and Housing, Senator Joe St. Augustine, was the amount of vacancies public health has, such as nursing and other health-related fields. Just in the Division of Children's Wellness alone, there are 59 vacancies. You identify uh, quite a few vacancies. What is your vacancies? What's the total cost for the vacancies to be filled? If it was funded, vacancies are not filled. You got a warm body, funding is there. You don't have a warm body, what is the cost? To which Director Arts and Augustine responded. We will provide you a listing of our funded vacancies. And also, I do know that many of them are tracking and some of them are already in, in the uh, process of being given us a supplemental, I'm sorry, a list of eligible applicants. So it really varies by division, but we'll give you that list. Senator Joe St. Augustine says that the best course of action for the vacancies would be to find a way to fill it and then identify the source of funding. That way, they're getting, quote, the biggest bank for their dollar. If you have the people already, the application went out, they're waiting for interviews, then as far as I'm concerned, you anticipate hire them. So we just got to make sure we identify that as a warm body. It's inbound. By the time we finish the budget, they might be already sitting there. And we want to make sure the funding is there. Daniel Perez reporting for KUAM News. Thank you, Senator. Um, you know, with the large number of